Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Path of Exile where we continue the gameplay with our ranged character with the bleeding damage and we are trying to make it to the end game when it's starting to be more and more difficult. This is a standard league if you missed a few episodes because the heist league has ended and trying to rush the migration I actually accidentally move from self-founding league to the normal one where I have all the other items from all the other characters so what we're trying to do right now is continue as it is to go through the gameplay one of the things that were happening in the last episode is that we were dying pretty quickly so we need more defense or more life our resistances are pre doing pretty well so I was thinking about going here, like trying to look, here are all the upgrades, the crafting elements that I have unlocked with my other characters, so we can do a bunch of things. Life would be pretty important, increase evasion rating, that could be useful as well, but I would probably go for that on my armor instead, we will have to see go for maximum life, go for a few more thing, one to the level of socketed projectile gems. I could even put that to this armor. So you can see that it costs different resources that we are using uh, with the other uh, from the other stash, right, from my other character stash. Mm, I'm going to try to to keep it alive or something like that. It is an unfair advantage, to be honest. So let's see, increased armor and evasion. But we're going to do it anyway because we want to progress at this point and explore more in the next campaign since it took me off guard to create this... Uh, I'll go a level lower, I won't do, go for the max. But since it took me a little bit by surprise, the end of the league, uh, somehow I don't want to go too further in... Uh, too far in the upgrades and everything else, so we'll see. Yeah, let's just throw in some extra life, let's see how this will work. We have all the upgrades or all the slots filled here with the seven slots filled for the ring, so we can't do anything else there. We just put a bunch of life on our character and we're gonna try to see if we can make this work. Okay, here we are. I'm not up to that just yet. Next week we have in Path of Exile a Delve event. I talked, I spoke about it a few episodes ago, so you can check that video out or you can look ahead. It's going to be a very different experience. I'm gonna do an episode there as well, another intermission as I called it, in order for you to see what is what is like to participate in that event as well. Mm, I might do the event at the beginning or somewhere as soon as I, it picks up some speed and energy while I figure out how to level up and how to survive. There are guides online that I do, cons do recommend that you check out. They even posted it on Steam because I've been using it through Steam. Like if you go on Steam and you look for Path of Exile and you look for the latest articles they have posted, you will see there a bit of a Q&A session of how to start and when do you get the skill points, when you will be able to pick Ascendancy because there's no more dungeon for uh, Ascendancy, right? 
and it gives you plenty of information like I'm really grateful about the amount of information they have provided for these events it's a really good way to understand the game better and it makes it a whole lot easier to get into the events which for me have been a blessing as I said before I have been avoiding them because I wasn't really feeling like I could ever handle a competition. Because I'm, as much as I play games, I, I do enjoy testing games and seeing what's new. I'm not really a hardcore player, though I started being... Like, even there was a comment in one of my earlier videos where someone said uh, that Path of Exile is the best game out there and... I would tend to to agree, I mean it really depends on what are you focusing, like what do you consider the best game, like if I would go graphically, there are, there, it's good, I, I would say that they put as much work into the graphics as they needed to. And they've upgraded them over the years. So graphic wise, if you're someone who really loves graphics, then you might not be as impressed. But if you are into gameplay, into replayability and action RPGs in general, then definitely. But it is, I believe that even without thinking about it or maybe ever thinking and considering that this might be the best game out there I have more hours spent in this game I'm not up to that than I have in any other I even responded to that comment with the same thing like Path of Exile is the first game as far as number of hours played on Steam my mana is gone. and it's doubled than my second title which is Total War Shogun and even on that game I don't have that many hours but I guess in, in a sense it's it shows that I am more of a I play different games I'm not playing only one it's not really my style to play only one, I always want to see what's new, I want, always want to see what's cool. Thus I also got myself Cyberbot 2077. In the end, like I thought for a long time that I, I won't do it, but somehow I was looking at the games that I, I might want to play for Christmas. And like for me, for just playing on my own and cyberpunk 2077 came up so I decided to go for it as a Christmas gift I'm sure that at some point we'll probably I'm sure that at some point we'll probably that doesn't sound so good I am uh, I'm sure that we'll be playing Cyberpunk 2077 at some point as well. I am considering doing a few games that are surrounding the Cyberpunk team at some point. So that's why I'm thinking that it's probably going to happen sooner or later. Ooh, a large cluster jewel. I think this offers me the chance to show you that in the near future, we'll see. So let's see, can we get a few more enemies here to increase those bonuses? Yep, we did. Not perfect, but we did it. So 
And going back to the subject, like, there are some games that I would consider better, but I think it's mostly because of nostalgia. Like, there are different genres too, so. Uh, I'm not up to that just I really yet. love games like Pharaoh or Caesar. Mostly Pharaoh, because that has been the first game that I really got to play from Sierra. I do enjoy Zeus with the gods. Like, I always imagined, even in Pharaoh, I imagined the gods. And as I was reading through, when I was younger, reading through the Egyptian mythology, I was very fascinated. About all the deities with animal forms and representing like different mm, different areas of society and life and death and everything like that and they all had the role all had the stories no no it's it's quite it was quite impressive I think even today I would love to study more about Egyptian mythology. And it's probably going to happen at some point. Um, I f don't think I'll bother with Alva's pyramid for a while. Because it does get it has become pretty tough here. So I want to go further in, like just do the campaign. Okay, here are some stoned enemies. It's stack some bleeding on this character. Throw the blades. Some bleeding as well could be good. Okay. So this boss almost had us there. I wanted to say that this boss seems pretty easily, pretty easy, but he almost got us. There we have it. Got ourselves the acid, and we now need to deliver it to Sin. So let's do that. And now he wants us to meet him at the quarry, so we'll do that. Mm -hmm. We'll throw these in here. I'm gonna keep these cluster jewels like so. Just so we can look at them later on. Show you what they do. And now we're going back into the black whore. Into the belly of the beast. Probably a place you know well, but last time it was more life. It was redder. Good. Sacred Life Flask. For 1200, not that impressive. Apparently Alva is in here as well. We don't want to focus on that right now. There are better bonuses later on from Alva. If we manage to create a character that is strong enough. The problem with Alva right now is that most of the monsters in the small temple battle are magical and our bleeding is not quick enough. Multiple stacks definitely make the, a huge difference, time definitely makes a huge difference as well. I wonder if we should change back, like move from armor, instead of having average armor and average evasion, just go for plenty more evasion. 
Some phasing would be useful as well, I think. Phasing would... Be, I sh had it on my other character, of the character that we played with in the event. What phasing does is that you are able to move through enemies and get away, especially from the enemies that surround you. If you have a few enemies surrounding you, you won't be able to escape it unless you have one of these movement skills ready. But with phasing, you are able to go through enemies and they do provide My mana is mm. gone. Drool, drool mall. They do provide a few extra benefits like evasion and evasion from attacks and evasion from spells. So we might be investing in that as well. We are now at level 68. That is pretty good. not explored is it on that side it's probably there but we're going to explore this area as well get a bit of extra experience on our hands decayed cocoon here with nothing good in it Now, I, I, I was thinking the last days whether it's important to open chests or not. Most of them, I would say not. Like, that's the idea. So, most of them give you like this a scroll. Like, we're level 68 and we get a scroll of wisdom, right? But there's always a chance for these chests to give you something really good. I remember finding some of the most useful items or the most expensive items or items that become the most expensive in-game I did find in chess. So I'm not fully sure what's the best approach. Like the, the idea, one of the ideas that are being explored is in this game is if you are farming, if you are looking for certain items or you are you looking for currency, it's better to have a quick character like I have the lightning character, right? Like a quick, a strong character that kills enemy as quickly as possible in a larger area as possible. And you move from map to map. So basically you are quicker and quicker. If it does spill it of... Sharon, Maligara, and Duidri. Okay, so we're fighting them again. My mana is gone. Okay, this is going to be interesting to to see if we are going to be able to survive these battles. Uh, let's pass quickly through here. I don't want to linger too much. Maybe apply one, two stacks of bleeding. And then move on. Oof. Okay. I'm not up to that just yet. I think we need to defeat that unique monster there. Because it is casting a bit of a storm on us. Okay, boom. Done. So if you have a fast character that can farm quickly on the map, you get plenty of chances to to have a 
a good amount of currency be dropped, right? So you can say that you're doing maybe in an hour you'll be farming this much. I wouldn't know exactly what the number is, but let's say that you're farming a pretty good amount. Oof, oof. Let's go here. If you are sitting still to in order to open chests, then that's time that is not well spent. Ah. Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's go back here again. Okay, we don't want to die yet. But if you're stopping to collect every chest, then there's a pretty good chance that you are not farming to your max ability. So that is something to be thought about. Mm, do I want to go back? Do I want to try to link this? Or do I want to try to link this? Let's see. Nope, still four. And nothing impressive on it. Precision, minion damage, ice bite. Okay, let's dash. Hmm. We should be leveling a few things up. Let's see. Split arrow, mirage archer. Okay, that's okay. Let's go here. This should be better for us. Maybe easily to take care of. Then the other areas. My mana is gone. I'm not up to that just yet. Okay, we're doing well. We're doing well in this part of the dungeon. We we don't have enough potions though to make it through I think we'll need a scroll to town portal we don't get some from these elementals some flasks hey okay, let's take that trip good now we're re refilled so we can go back Here, I think uh, what I might want to do, take this off, let's try that, what if I just shoot with one, only one arrow, is this enough, it might be, so for, we'll put this back, and before the next boss, which is Maligaro over here, I'm gonna remove the multiple arrows. Just see how that works as an idea. Because it is about a thousand, I think, damage.
playing like this for for like having this playthrough where I'm not going for a build where I haven't fought one in advance where I haven't read about one in advance and I'm doing everything like the way I'm thinking, I'm not doing any trading, like I'm playing on my own and everything else. Um, like, lacking this survivability, like, getting to these points of the game and actually struggling to survive and not dishing out damage quick enough, at least not with bleeding, um, did remind me, like, this, what we're doing here, is exactly like I played the first time. It, I got with a character, with the uh, gladiator, I got to this point, let's see, was I right about the, the damage, because I want to make sure... Okay, we're just removing some damage per hit, but it's not actually removing any damage from the bleeding, so we can keep this on. My mana is gone. Okay, let's bring him back. And I'm really looking forward to the beginning of the next league, where we're going to do a playthrough with a build. Like, I don't think I'll start a new character before the next league, which is in January. I want you to see uh, what's new. I don't want the character to break again, right, because the league is over. Okay, let's go. So you'll see how much better the game becomes once you understand the basics of it. Once you're trying, you're starting to delve into the knowledge of how to build a character, of on what you need, uh, meaning layer defenses, and yeah, there's there's a lot of knowledge to be had. There's a lot of cool gameplay to be seen, many awesome skills and abilities that we will be able to play with. So I'm really looking forward to that. Playing like my old self again. <laughs> I thought at the, at the beginning that I'd, I'd feel nostalgic, but now I realize that playing it this way, sometimes it really feels just frustrating. And it's probably that. It, it's probably because I remember this feeling of being frustrated because I couldn't progress and seeing for the first time that you could actually be very strong if you know what you're doing. And you don't even have to go far, you just have to know a little bit uh, that actually gave made this game a whole lot better and it made me play for so many hours okay finally we are done here Whew. this character is tough to play man Let's see, where are we at here? Cast one damage taken support is for level 50. This is 62. Okay, and this is 44. Okay. Let's sail to Orion. 
And during the next episode, we are going to begin the final steps of our journey. This is the final chapter in this campaign, but more opens up afterwards. Welcome. For now, Welcome. I hope you have enjoyed it. We're getting very close to finishing the first playthrough of Path of Exile because then I'm it's going to be a bit difficult to progress for too long. But after that, we're gonna come back and level up our playthrough. So stay tuned for that. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, everyone.